So AMD Powertune technology is the most intelligent power management feature of any GPU today. For a product like the 6990, Powertune technology is key because without it we'd have to resort to more crude methods of power management. With Powertune technology, we can sure make sure that with every extra watt we use over the 300 watt limit, we're squeezing the most performance out of the card in every case that we can. Obviously, since this is our highest end graphics card, we really wanted to open up the possibilities for overclocking. One of the ways we've done this is we've included two default settings that users can change with a little switch on the board. What this switch does is it overclocks the board, but in addition to that, it also overvolts the board, allowing for even higher overclocking. For those users that really want to get the most out of the world's fastest graphics card, this switch really lets them push their card to the max. Well, Affinity is obviously a really exciting technology. There's been exciting kind of leaps in technology, such as when we went from like one GPU to two GPUs or more that you can put in the system. With Affinity, you're able to finally open that up and get a completely new kind of gaming experience. With uh, the ability to support up to five displays out of a single uh, GPU, like we can do with the, uh, the HD6990. For example, a five by one Affinity setup with five 1080p displays gives you approximately 10 megapixels um, of graphics power. the phase changing thermal interface material that we're using. This is the first time that we've ever used this on our GPUs, and what it allows them to do is work up to 10 degrees C cooler than any other thing we've used in the past. This means that you can get the world's fastest graphics card and not have to worry about something that's loud and hot. Since this is our highest end product, this is the best fan sink, the best cooling solution that we've ever engineered. What we've done is designed this fan sink to be good up into 450 watts of cooling capacity. Now just like the thermal interface material that I talked about before, this is one more way that we can keep this card nice and cool and quiet in both idle and gaming situations. And this is just an example of the attention to detail that we put into every little part of this board.